afternoon. My name is Mana and I'm accompanied by, by my group members, uh, Maha, Dwayne, Haley, and Sumaya. Uh, our presentation is about uh, making a NISPA community in Dubai. Uh, I'll start by presenting ESPA team and uh, style. So ESPA has transformed into a fully fledged consumer bag uh, with a wide range of shoulder bags, backpacks, duffel, and travel bags. ESPA has actually made uh, four main brand values, which are seeking the stories beneath the, the surface, leave these better than we found them, um, create a resistance against boredom and banality, and make a connection with friends and so the challenge that Eastpac is currently facing is that right now it's popular amongst the nascent age group, which are teenagers between 14 to 18, and now they want to target the emerging age group. And uh, to do this, they want to show that the brand is relevant to their trendy lifestyle, and they want to make it more interactive to the target audience and more shareable as well. So since our target audience are millennials in Dubai, we did some research about their uh, daily activities and their habits, just to understand them better. And we found out that um, millennials in the UAE use social media platforms to influence their purchasing decisions, and they use social sites to get product information as well. And um, they, they're known to be very market and media savvy consumers, and they prefer ads which are engaging and have very short attention spans as well. So we did some primary research as well on our Twitter pages, and we found out that a lot of people did not even know about Eastpac, which was pretty surprising for me at least. And we asked which um, aspect of an everyday bag we preferred the most, and style was the top priority. And we also asked if they prefer interactive brand communities and if that would influence their purchasing decisions, and a lot of them uh, said yes. Uh. From a political point of view, we don't stray away from the laws implemented by the government. And from an economical point of view, we normally generally target the low budget audience. And uh, we stick to ethical code and stay away from violence and profanity. And from a technological point of view, we use our technology to target our, our, uh, we use our technology to target our tech savvy audience. And we have two major competitors in the GCC, which are Herschel and Vans. The Herschel normally dominate the entire GCC because of this five-point plan they have, which includes quality of the products, the non-tacky marketing uh, strategies, the brilliant social media outreach, the carefully selected distributors, and the and the the way they cater to the community and the needs. Vans had a five-year plan set up in 2012, which, uh, which they needed to reach a revenue of $2.2 billion. And at that point of time, they had a revenue of $1.2 billion with, uh, with 415 owned retail stores, with 14 million online brand loyalties. Van had the longest music festival in the world. And they all come under one parent company, which is the VF Corporation which is an American-based company, apparel footwear, and apparel footwear company, and is the official distributor of Vans and Herschel's and Eastman. Okay, so it wasn't until 2014 when Eastpac decided to rebuild their entire image and showcase what they really stand for. So the advertising module they chose to pursue was distribution. That was when they launched a global campaign hoping to create a community to form an emotional connection. So, we want to build a reputation of quality in Dubai. We want to make sure that everyone knows that Eastpac is, has a 30-year warranty and we want to build a trust between brand and uh, consumer in Dubai. Okay, so this is a screenshot from uh, the Eastpac site where um, it's a collection of communities from endless amounts of cities across the globe, representing the brand as its own personality and sort of a travel community. So this is an example of Edinburgh, Edinburgh um, where bloggers share their favorite tourist free hidden um, gems and along with you know their stories to tell. 
So we want to make to, to bring this facility to Dubai. We want to create our own East Pack community, and we want people forming con uh, con conversations and experiences, thus connecting them through this East Pack story and forming a brand identity. Okay, so what do we want our audience to think about East Pack? So state into our main strategy to create a, a community in Dubai. We want to utilize social media and interactivity to make our consumers believe that Eastpac is urban, current, and fashionable. So to do this, we plan to use images on the social media website and have a pop-up event. So our pop-up event will be at three locations in Dubai where our target audience of the Emerging News Group are likely to be, which we've chosen CityWalk, Downtown Dubai, and HJBR. Um, our pop-up event will run every Friday and Saturday through the month of January. And it will consist of a stall where uh, passers-by can come, take photos, Snapchats with our Eastpac bags, which we will then ask them to post on their Instagram accounts using our hashtag EastpacTXB. Once they do this, we will then send them a message and tell them that they've got a 10% discount code. By giving them a discount code, we think this will be an incentive for them to buy it. Myself being in the age gap of our target audience, I know that I'm more likely to buy something if I've been given a discount. Um, and we'll also have a selection of bags on sale at the pop-up event for people to buy then and there if they so wish. Um, this is an example of the type of photos that they can take to upload to their Instagram accounts. Um, we'll also be using radio as a media channel to get uh, word across about our events. Um, we plan to get a slot on Virgin Radio Dubai on Thursday mornings um, for the whole month of January. Uh, this will get a wide reach, it will advertise our events and encourage our emerging audience to attend our events and receive the discount. Um, we'll also be using social media. We have designed a geo filter which will appear at our pop up events, again to spread the word. Um, some pros of using Snapchat are that it's got 100 million users every month um, with 16.5 million daily active users. This could reach a whole like, a variety of people around the UAE, not just limiting us to Dubai. Um, we'll also, this is an uh, example of the message which people will receive if they use the hashtag, uh, getting the discount code which they can then get 10% off. Um, in using social media channels like Snapchat and Instagram, we will be reiterating our plan to make the target make to our target market that Eastpac is urban, it's current, and it's fashionable. So we did some uh, research on previous campaigns that Eastpac had run, and they ran a campaign in 2013, uh, which cost around 40,000 pounds, and they considered this a small pocket. So keeping that in mind, just to be on the safe side, we used uh, we kept thirty thousand pounds as our uh, budget, and that's roughly uh, about one hundred and fifty thousand dirhams. So um, for the pop up event, um, each square foot of space in popular spaces like JBR in downtown costs six thousand dirhams. So we want to use a uh, two feet square. I think that's the right term, um, but we don't want too much space, just enough space to get a nice background and a floor, like on the like a carpet or something, uh, where people can stand and take photos and the pictures will look nice. So uh, that we will run that on every Friday and Saturday, and that adds up to ninety-six thousand dirhams for radio advert to run every uh, for the entire month. It's going to cost forty-eight thousand dirhams because it's twelve thousand per week. So to run that for four weeks is forty-eight thousand. And the Snapchat filter, we're going to um, just keep it every Friday and Saturday. It covers 20,000 20, square feet of area, wherever you decide to um, make that geo filter. So for example, if you're doing it in JPR, uh, a certain area in JPR, you can use that uh, geo filter, and that will cost uh, 152 euros, and that is the grand total. Uh, as for the timeline, we want to run, uh, the, uh, we want to run the campaign throughout the entire month of January, because that's the month where there are most uh, amount of tourists that come into Dubai. Also, the weather is nice, so people like to engage in outdoor activities. And there's also the uh, Dubai Shopping Festival, which encourages people to go out and shop, so I thought that would be an appropriate one. So how do we measure our success? Um, the people who attend the pop-up, uh, posts made on social media with the hashtag eastpack.ae, the, the discount codes that are actually used to buy the um, bags, um, when the Snapchat geo, uh, geo filter gives us um, demographics of uh, who uses the filter, the engagements with the filter, etc. Uh, as well as the Instagram business uh, demographics, they tell us uh, the ages of the viewers, of the pictures, the area of the viewers, the, uh, the city, 
and uh, the radio outlet tells us our, about our listeners, the amount of people tuning in at that moment when they listen to our um, ad. And